Now here we have a JDM D16 ZC and we're gonna show you how we opened it up when it was crusty straight from the yard or surplus and after honing and decking how clean it is and even the head that's been ported it's gonna be good look at that and fully assembled with you guys here and also some local performance parts supplier and local race shops that kind of helps us complete some hard to find parts so let's go build this oem superstar shall we <laughs> Okay, first things first, the story is the owner had a D15B7 block and a mini me VTEC head, but instead of upgrading it with other parts, the owner decided to actually get a D16 ZC block from the surplus and have us rebuild it before assembling, which is beyond smart because you're gonna have zero miles on a brand new engine. And after our inspection, we had it decked and honed by the machine shop and got it so clean. And now you can see the bearing saddles and all the complete parts are all good and ready right and for our local viewers we're going to talk about the arp rod bolts here we got this from downshift supply it's a shop in near marikina or somewhere in marikina and we always get our cam gears even ngk spark plug wires from them and this is their facebook page so you guys check them out if you need any parts and as you look on to the right they carry all all brands of coilovers and actually the funny thing is my personal single overhead cam project has a one twin adjustable cam gear from these guys and we've gotten golden eagle adjustable cam gears through the years from this guy so when you have a project and you're needing parts check out their page it might help and we'll talk about this ported head a little later in detail but now it's worth mentioning the ferreira viton valve seals that we're using here we actually or i actually got it from this shop above 5500 rpm tuning and performance parts it's a race shop like ours but they also carry aftermarket parts this is their Facebook page and you can see they even carry Ultra Street Skunk 2 intake manifolds and even wide bands and Hondata S300. So in case you guys need those stuff, you know where to check. These guys are good guys too, you know. The owner, Ed Nell, I've known him for years and he's also a builder and a tuner. So you cannot go wrong with this guys. If you have to bring your car to them, you're in good hands. All right okay now let's go back to the block here we start we first assemble the crank before we go even further all right you can see here it's all clean and all ready we've washed this with solvent after the machine shop so it's all good now okay first we invert it now here the taiho oem main bearings all right we open this yep and we carefully install them or put them on the bearing main saddle torque assembly loop yep our favorite okay we time lapse this because it's gonna get a little boring from in my book all right we drop the crank and then the side thrust yep yep all right wait wait there you go now some more assembly loop before we put the main cap or the main ah main girdle sorry my bad my bad we hand tie it yep so that, so that it's snug and then we go with the first step and then the final step all right yep okay now first step is 18 feet pounds torque okay we're not gonna time lapse this because this is gonna be a bit quicker or real quick because you know it's just easy to click that first step all right there you go and of course, before we even install the main girdle or the main cap, we actually lubricated all the main bolts really well. This way, the torque readings are accurate and it won't click even though the torque is too low. So it'll, this one tightens it properly. All right, there you go. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, next is the second and last step for the seven feet pound torque. It's gonna click louder now. You can see, you, you'd hear it. See, so hear that? Yeah. 
it's a date thing okay but we're gonna time lapse this so that we finish it real quick and you can see how it turns i can just turn it with my bare hands i don't even need a socket or a wrench it just turns right because the clearances are good all right and before we continue if you're liking this video or where this is going hit the like button because it helps spread out the video to a wider audience the more likes gets the more feed it can get spread out to a wider audience redundant sorry so you know even if you don't like the video just just like it you know it helps and of course if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications because we will definitely have future projects that's going to be fun like dino tuning even the intake that i haven't tested and that we're gonna test really soon so hey you gotta check it out right so you gotta be subscribed and hit the bell to be not notified whenever we have the new stuff out and playing for you guys now let's go back to the engine stand here we are you can see the block is freshly decked and honed all right so now here we got a time last this so it doesn't get too boring piston number one and then we turn it this is the only you know not not so easy unlike the dock or the B, b16 or b20 there's enough space to tighten the rod in here you have to do you know do a slight turns just to get the front bolt and then the re rear rod bolt so but it's still fine you know so there you can see we go from one side first and then turn it a bit wait after there on the other side but you know when you get used to it it's kind of normal all right number three sorry for hitting the stand on the phone yep it's getting there it's getting there we pre-lubed all the rod ordered all the journals including the mains so you know they're all safe right now all right yep now it's number four the last one yeah yep let me do the rod cap and the erp rod bolts yeah okay now we're done so we are off to stretch the rod bolts as per arp's suggested method all right we get the rod bolt stretch gauge first okay let me show you it's at zero look there you go it's a zero all right yep and it's well lubricated and loose all right so arp suggests 0 0.0055 or 50 to 55 so we're gonna set this on a 28 feet pound of torque and let's check on how it is so you know we you gotta make sure all the threads are well lubricated by the ARP assembly loop that they bring with it, or that comes with the ARP rod bolts. All right, here we go, let's go, let's go. All right, 28 feet pounds torque. Click it, come on, there. All right, now we turn this a bit so that we can go with the other side. Of course, we stretch both sides of the rod bolts, but for the video now, we're just gonna show you one side. Okay, here, we'll tighten this, just to make sure it's quite balanced on the clamping force. All right, there you go. Now we go back to the other side to test the rod bolt stretch gauge. Okay, there you go. Okay, now we're gonna install it again. Come on, come on. All right. Clip it. Come on. There, there. Okay, let me get the phone first. Let me show you guys. And yep, 0 0.055. Uh, 0 0.0055, sorry. Yep, perfect. So we do the rest. All right, now we turn the block. Can we go back to the deck? Oh, wait, let's straighten this up. Yes, sir. I put the lock there. Okay. Okay, there, holding it on. Okay, now we like to do this, and this is actually quite helpful. It protects, you know, ruining the block because the block has been thoroughly cleaned after the machine shop. We run the head studs 
to its thread all the way through and we use assembly lube like arp assembly lube just to make sure that all the threads are well lubricated this way the torque readings are you know more than good there you go we just you know hand tight it first and then you know we just tight it with a ratchet set with a ratchet holder or arm you know you don't have to torque it you just need to make sure the threads all the way to the bottom is passed by the head bolt this way there's arp lube all right can okay, we remove that now look at this new new water pump blueprint and oil pump and look at that that's a clean deck surface and yes the hone job is done quite well with brand new piston rings oh it sounds so good right this we know is gonna be performing really really good yeah all right okay now next on the task okay we start slapping on the head we go with the dowel first and the head gasket and then the head because the block is freshly resurfaced and the head is freshly resurfaced you don't always need a sealant or anything because we with brand new head gasket this is gonna seal really good so we hand tight the head studs first so that the head gets snug all right and now we go with the first step on the torque sequence the first step is 18 feet pounds torque this one we won't time last because this is quite easy it's gonna be fast to get all the head studs all 10 of them okay there's 18 feet pounds yep yep okay we do the torquing of the head studs or the head bolts in three sequences for this first one is 18 feet pounds torque all right yep it's gonna be good now it's gonna be snug actually yep oh yeah it's almost done the edge is almost complete all right there you go all right now next step is 38 feet pounds torque Okay, that's the second step and you can actually i hear this the clicking sound is louder yep see that or heard that all right now we time lapse this so we get finished okay now the final step is 58 feet pounds torque yep it's louder now yeah okay now let's go time lapse all right now finish that and now we drop in the cam oh no, no wait wait let me show you something here let me show you this so that you know when to check a surplus head look you see the cam journals there's scratches and there's no way that's from prop improper clearances like someone else attempted to tell you guys this is because this engine has been or this head has been running a little higher than normal operating temperatures therefore the head was expanding too much creating those clearances this only happens on single overhead cam because look at the head it's barely half the material or the amount of material or mass of a b16 head look it's tiny so running anything over operating temperature is not helpful at all all right now we drop in the cam it's for real this time and then the cam caps and the rocker arms yep we get it snug so it's all ready because we're still waiting for the timing belt all right there you go let me show you look at that all done all finished yeah yep yep it's ready to rumble ready ready to tear down the streets in this stock form is a stock d16 zc that's fully rebuilt but ported head so yep now let's cover this so that it doesn't get any dust and actually you know i was trying to make this video to have from the start and to all the way to the finish of the engine unfortunately it's getting too long and of course maybe on the second part we will install it and you know run it and show you guys tuning it so hey you gotta subscribe and this is the head that we did this has a dedicated video and you can click here or definitely is going to be in the description below the full headworks of the video or the video of the full headworks or head porting of the po8 head 
it had its own dedicated unit for that so hey it's gonna be fun for you guys right so as soon as we get to finish the second part of this video we're gonna install the engine or the this d16zc to the eg hatchback of course we're gonna compression test way before startup just for you guys and then you know we're gonna set the timing and do the initial tune so you know you gotta subscribe to keep track of all the updates of what we're doing here right so if of course as soon as the second part finishes you can also click it here